Hi everyone, Nikos Bafitis here from Sunny Cypress and welcome to today's tutorial. This is a short tutorial and it's all about hiding your formulas in Microsoft Excel. Now why you would want to do this, that's entirely up to you. You just may not want to share your formulas with other people and that's absolutely fine. For me, one reason I do this is so that when I give a worksheet to my students for them to actually enter formulas, I give them another spreadsheet in their workbook which has the whole spreadsheet solved with my formulas, but they can't see the formulas. So they can see what they should be getting when they put their formulas in. They can test the spreadsheet, but they can't see the answers, or at least they can't see the formulas. So whatever reason it is that you want to hide your formulas, that's fine by me, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are. Here's a standard workbook I will give to my students. And this particular one is about count functions. I've got some data here over here on the left. And from that data, I want the students to actually generate some functions, some count functions based on the instructions here for them to practice the different count functions, the count, count A, count blank, count if, and count ifs. Now, I've got down here the second spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet that I would also give them. And here we've got my formulas already added in here. So my count functions already there with the answers there for them to see what they are. They can also practice, for example, this one here does the count blank. You cannot see any of these formulas. You can only see the results of the formulas. But at the same time, if I'm in here, let's say count blank, this counts the blank cell. So if I delete these cells here, so they are allowed to modify the data, so instead of just one blank cell, as soon as I click delete, you can see five blank cells. And that's because my formulas are updating. They can't see the formulas, however. So this allows the students to play around with the data, understand what these functions do before they actually start working on their exercise here. Okay, so that's one good way in an educational environment that we can use this feature of hide formulas. So. This spreadsheet here, I'm going to show you how I did that. So this is exactly the same spreadsheet as this one here with the hidden formulas. But this time here, I haven't hidden the formulas yet. I haven't modified anything on this spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how you can set up your spreadsheet so that your students can access the answers, modify the data, but not see the formulas. So the first step is going to be, we want to make sure that when we protect our sheet, the formulas are hidden. So I'm going to do this by selecting the entire spreadsheet. And we can see here, I can actually see these formulas at the top. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my entire spreadsheet. So I'm going to click in the top left corner over here. You could just do control A. That's absolutely fine. And now I want to format all of these cells. So I'm going to right click anywhere in my spreadsheet and I'm going to go to format cells. From here, you've got different tabs at the top. We want to go to the one that says protection. And here we want to tick the option hidden. This is the option that's going to hide those formulas. Now, we also see this one here, which says locked. Now, what does this mean? These things will take effect only once we protect our spreadsheet. Okay. So right now, if I click on OK, None of these formulas are hidden. There they are. Look, all of them are still visible up there in my formula bar. Okay, because I haven't protected my spreadsheet yet. So the next step is this. If I go to my review tab here, I've got this option here, protect sheet. So I'm going to click on that. And here it tells you basically what password you're going to use to protect an unprotected sheet. You've got some options here. I've got a different tutorial on seeing what these are, but this basically says what the users are allowed to do in this spreadsheet on these locked cells or these protected cells. So we're just going to leave the default options. We're going to allow them to select the cells and they can also select unlocked and locked cells. We're not going to allow them to format the cells or format the columns or format or anything else. But if you do want to allow something, you could just choose the appropriate tick box here. I'm just going to put a simple password, one, two, three, four, click OK. Enter my password again, one, two, three, four, click OK. And there we go. My formulas are now are all hidden. 
you see if I click here nothing up here in the formula bar it won't allow me to make any changes either now this doesn't help me in the sense that students now because all of my cells when I selected them they were all by default they are all locked when uh, my spreadsheet is protected my students now cannot modify this data to play around with it so what I'm going to do next is this I'm going to unprotect my sheet so from the review tab at the top go to unprotect sheet one two three four that's my password so now everything's unprotected my formulas are visible I'm going to select the cells that I want to allow my students to be able to modify so I only want them to be able to modify the data from here I'm going to right click again I'm going to choose again format cells but I'm not going to leave these ones as locked we're going to remove that so essentially when we protect our spreadsheet these cells here which are selected on the left these cells will not be locked so the students or whoever's using it will be able to edit these cells I'm going to leave the hidden because if they do put form if I do put formulas in there they're not going to show click on OK and now I'm going to protect my sheet click on that I'm going to put the same password one two three four one two three four click OK so there we have it I have a working spreadsheet for my students they can modify this data so they can delete these for example there we go but all the formulas are invisible they can't do, they can't see anything and even if they did put a formula in these cells that they can edit let's say here I put equals to some of these values here because all of my cells were set up as not to show the formulas you can see it's not showing that formula up here okay so that was it short and sweet and very easy it's a fantastic way to give uh, spreadsheets to your students for them to actually work on see what the answer should be have the spreadsheet for them to practice to do their formulas and then the important thing if you want them to do their own assessment of their work so that they can see if they did the formulas correctly you can simply give them the password so make sure you use a a simple password or random password that you don't use for any accounts give them the password and then when they go to review and unprotect the sheet one two three four they now have the answers and they can check their work making your life easier now I hope you found this uh, information or this particular tutorial useful. If you did, and especially if you do use this or find or think, think of any other ways that you can use this feature, please put it in the comments. But if you like this feature, if you learned something new, you know the drill. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.